Now that the official release of Eclipse Chess 7 is just around the corner, let's see how we can run Dirigible on it. Starting from the Eclipse Chess dashboard, choose the Chess 7 stack and increase its RAM to 1GB. Then choose Create and proceed editing. Enter a workspace name of your choice. Then navigate to the Editors tab and enable the latest version of Eclipse Dirigible. Once you have done that, the default TAIA IDE is disabled automatically. Finally, save the changes. Now it's time to open the Dirigible IDE. Meanwhile, if you're curious to learn what Eclipse Chess 7 brings to the table, check the notes below this video. Now let's get back to our Dirigible instance. And there we go. Let's test it out, but first let's switch to the brighter Fiori UI team. Let's create a simple app. Create a project. And create a JavaScript service in it. Once you have the JavaScript file, publish the project. Go to the Preview tab. If needed, refresh the output. Don't hesitate to try out both Chess7 and Dirigible and stay tuned for more content.